What's up, dudes? My name is Caden, and this will be my first video on my YouTube channel. So, if you don't know what I do, or, like, who I am, I'm Caden Jansen Bruette. Um, and I like a product called G Fuel. And G Fuel is a energy formula, and everyone's like, energy formula... Is it the same thing as an energy drink? And the answer to that question is no. It is not the same as an energy drink at all. It is way different than an energy drink. It has zero sugars, 25 calories or less than that. It's just got everything that an energy drink, such as Monster, Rockstar, all those energy drinks. It doesn't have any of the stuff that actually gives you cancer. So, I mean, if you want to... If you want to, you know, check into some G Fuel, then I mean, definitely just go in the link below. I'll have a link to the G Fuel's website. And, um, yeah. So this is my first video. And so we're going to be trying a flavor that I've wanted to be, wanted to try out for a fat second. But I have not really picked out a date to make a video up until now. But today is the day, I guess. So. We do have Tropical Rain. And Tropical Rain is... Honestly, I don't really know what it is. So, but we're going to be using the Winter White Shaker Cup. Um, to just show you a little bit of the color. So if you guys don't know how to mix G Fuel, you add ice cubes in it. I like mine a little colder than some other people do. But here are the ice cubes in mine. Filled up to water all the way up to here because that's where I like to fill it. And each of these packets has a little bit more than one scoop of G Fuel. And a scooper out of one of the tubs of G Fuel. This is Hype Sauce. One of my favorite flavors. I don't know if you can see the scooper. But if you can, just, like, there's a little scooper in the inside. If you can see it. So, yeah. And then that's that's one serving that you put in there. And usually the healthy, the healthy serving, I believe, is one a day. Or less. One or less a day. Oh, it's like steaming almost. It smells. It smells like a fruit punch flavor. Like, I'm getting a lot of fake blueberry from it, or like pineapple. But yeah, so. Here's the shaker cup, and we're gonna pour it in there. And as you can see, oh, that's making a super cool color. I don't know if you guys can see it, but make sure you get all the powder in there. Uh, uh just went all over my desk. But the next thing you're gonna want to do is cover it, and then you're gonna want to shake it well. I recommend two minutes, but since I don't have any editing stuff that I can use right now, I'm only going to shake it for like 30 seconds, since I don't really have that much time. But yeah, you just want to make sure it's shaked up well, because that, that's just like a teal blue color. It's really, really cool color. So I don't really know what this flavor is supposed to be like. I've heard for some people that they really, really like this flavor. Um, I'm not sure if I like this flavor though. So, yeah. So now we'll try it. Try to open it. Jeez Louise. Uh, I know what this smells like. Oh, it smells like, um... Ah, uh, it smells... I don't know what it smells like, but... There is very, very strong... Blueberry. That's, that's like. Blueberry with an apple, uh, with an aftertaste of 
pineapple. And not like pineapple, like, like, like battle juice, which is this flavor. Battle juice is pineapple. This is, and I don't like battle juice at all, but I like this flavor. And I like this pineapple aftertaste. It tastes like a real pineapple. Oh, I don't know what this tastes like, but I, I can't. I know this flavor. I swear I know where this flavor is from. I was gonna say medicine, but that would be dumb because there's no medicine flavored anything remotely close to this. As you can see, the powder is sitting at the bottom because I didn't shake it for two minutes. I'll tell you why I'm not getting the full effect right now, but it. I mean, it's, it's good. I like it. But is this like an everyday flavor where I would like buy a tub? Which is, if you guys didn't know, a tub is 40 servings of G Fuel. And that's, um, I have a lot of tubs. But my favorite flavors are Hype Sauce and Peach Iced Tea. Those are my favorite flavors. And that's what I own the most of. I own, yeah. But those are the daily flavors. Again. Is this gonna be an everyday flavor for me? Probably not. Like, it tastes like. The, oh, I know what it's like. It tastes like those um, blueberry uh fruit snacks. That's exactly what it tastes like. That's where I know. Or a popsicle. It might be a popsicle too. But yeah, it's not at all what I was expecting it was going to be. I was expecting it to taste like rat poison or something. But, yep, that is Tropical Rain. If you guys do want to find anything you've seen in this video, then definitely go on to the link below and find G Fuel's, you know, website. Definitely take a look through it. Um, Definitely, definitely, definitely get go off with... So these are shaker cups, and if you want the best G Fuel experience, definitely go with one of the shaker cups. And a starter kit with seven flavors is $14, plus shipping is like 20 bucks. So I mean, for that, for that price, you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, but yeah, G Fuel is just a way healthier alternative to any energy drink. It gives you all of the caffeine you need. It gives you everything you need. It's just, it's just, it's just a really, really good form of energy, a form of, you know, getting through your day without having to, like, add all that sugar to your body all the time. Um, I just think it's a way better alternative to something like Monster or that stuff. Like, that stuff is just plain out bad for you. That Like, that stuff will kill you. This stuff is actually pretty good for you. Like, the caffeine, yes... If you have too much of it, it could possibly kill you. But at the same time, your, like, common sense has to kick in. You have to, like, know when to stop. But I'll get more in-depth in that for that in my G Fuel In-Depth video. But this was just my first video. This was a trying out of flavor. And um, if this was cringy, definitely uh, let me know because I'm trying not to go for that anymore. But, um, yeah. So if you guys liked the video, definitely please hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, look out for more videos.